Oh boy, here we go. By now we have got basic aerial control, but we cannot use it how we want. So for that, we're going to learn two aerials that give great mileage. They are the fast aerial and the boost conservation aerial. That's a terrible name. Let's start with the fast aerial. So I literally have watched every fast aerial video on YouTube and I've done every single variation because some people recommend different things. I've put them side by side and I've done a few different variations with my own twist based on the physics of the game. And although their ways are incredible, after testing eight different methods, I think I found a slightly different, quicker way. And we'll get to that later. So why would you fast aerial? Well, the quicker you can get into the air and therefore to the ball that's in the air, then the easier it is for your team to put pressure on or at least get a 50 or even saving a high shot. And it's very advantageous to get up to the ball quick because imagine if you use your boost and you get beat into the ball, like you don't even touch the ball. You've just wasted all your boost. So this is why you always got to get a piece of the action, baby. And like I always say, if you don't get the ball, at least get a chunk of the player. So here's how to do it. The first rule is to make sure you actually in a smart position to go up. The less adjustments we can do in the air, the better. And this will come from learning to read the game. So you can ideally take a direct path to the ball. Now, although this gets you up directly in the air really quickly, sometimes you want more of a forward angle on the aerial. And it's only a slight bit of adjustment, as opposed to if we start turning and stuff like that, that will take time. Another thing that people have talked about that if you want to go directly up to the ball, you want to actually break for a split second before going up. This is to prevent forward momentum and therefore the ball going overhead. However, if you are playing at full speed and you have good awareness and you've measured the ball up and you can see it's in a straight path right in front of you, Keep on boosting, baby, all the way through the movement. Even when you're on the ground, just keep boosting up towards that ball. But again, this is situational. So the basic fast aerial, hold down on the joystick before we even go up. That is a guarantee. That's always there, okay? Then here is what we do. We're going to hold jump and boost at the same time. If we hold jump, we get a little bit higher than if we tap jump. Then we're going to, as we jump and hold boost and hold down, our car is going to lean back. When we're at between 40 and 60 degrees, depending on what we're trying to achieve, we let go of jump, we let go of the joystick, but we're still holding boost. And then we press jump again and then pull back on the joystick more if we need to. So here are the tiny nuances of this move. By holding jump, we jump higher and we want to have the biggest lift while coming off the ground. Because when we jump in any position, it doesn't actually lift you towards the ceiling. It only raises you to where the roof of the car is facing. So for example, if we were falling off the ceiling and the roof of our car is facing to the right, if we press jump, we'll actually just move to the right. So if you don't hold it when you press it and fully lean back, you don't get as much height. The next thing we're going to do is we don't want to lean too far back. A couple of guys were saying to lean really far back. But then if you lean really far back and press jump again, we're not actually getting any upward momentum. We're just shooting ourselves backward. And that can help in some situations. It can give you more time. But most of the time, you're going to want to be going forward not backwards so we lean back till about 40 to 60 degrees keep holding boost the whole time we let go of a let go of the joystick press a and pull back to the angle we need and continue holding boost and that is literally it now you may find that you backflip and some people might recommend changing your dead zones but i honestly disagree it's because you haven't got the timing and you must still have some backwards input on the controller so you just got to get your timings down so now you guys are probably feeling confident in the air since last week's training. And uh, now we can get up quick. So it's coming together. However, we do have a training pack for this. But I want to talk about another type of aerial first. The boost conservation aerial. This is good if you have time but low boost. In this situation, you do the same inputs as previous. But only boost once you've done your double jump. This allows you to get up to places you may not be able to reach with lesser boost. It's tricky and it requires great awareness. Although we don't need a huge amount on this. I just know it's, it's a good thing to know. Especially if you're in, in gold and you've got like say 7 boost. That you can double jump first then lean back then boost to get up to the higher areas. Right then. Let's get the training on. So there it is, the new one, red belt this time. We're going for a red belt. Ooh, nice. The code is in the top corner and it will be in the description of the video as well. First one, we're going straight up. Remember, guys, we're holding back on the joystick. We're pressing boost and jump at the same time. That's how we're doing it, just like we just learned. 
This one, same again. It's a little bit harder. We've got to go back a bit. Now, with the timings on these, you don't have to get it perfect. You can be slightly off and it'll still hit the ball because it's hard to get it exactly perfect making a training bag. But you will need a good aerial, a good fast aerial. There's no way around it. And these ones, look what I do. Oh, we're turning towards the ball first. We're not going up and then thinking, oh, I've got to go to the left now. We're going to the left and then we're going up. That is called efficiency, man. We're going straight to where we need to go. Same with this one, straight up. We turn first and then straight up to where we need to go. Once you get 100% just like that, share that picture in the room on the Discord called Challenge Proof Red Belt. You will need all the other belts before, obviously, to be able to unlock it, but you will get that role given to you. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Look after yourself. Have a nice life and peace.